Hi, friends. Welcome to um, Teacher Alice here. Welcome to Mountain School at my house again. I realize that you are probably missing the trains at Mountain School. Well, I have a special book that we can read together. We can read the section on trains. So here goes. This is a book about airplanes, trucks, trains, fire engines, boats, ships, building and wrecking machines. It looks like it's illustrated and written by George Zaffo. And you can see this book is very old. The cover is coming off. And today we're going to read the section about trains. As we go along, remember to look at the bottom because we are going to see 15 different train cars all the way through the book so you can count as we go. So number one, the first car in the train is the locomotive. Oh, the locomotive and the tender. The engine comes out of the roundhouse. It is cleaned and oiled. The tender behind the engine carries coal and water. The locomotive is ready for a trip. This locomotive has four pilot wheels in front. These keep the engine on a track. It has six driving wheels. These make the engine go. Four other wheels carry the back of the engine. Number two. The hopper. A steel hopper car carries coal and gravel. It also carries different kinds of ore. A hopper is loaded from the top. It is loaded by an automatic loader. A switch engine moves the hopper under the loading bin. The coal or gravel goes through the chutes into the hopper. Number three, covered hopper. The covered hopper has a roof over the top. There are eight hatches on the roof. The hatches are open to load the hopper. The covered hopper carries sugar, cement, or grain. No moisture can get in to harden the hopper's cargo. Number four, the flat car. A flat car is a platform on wheels. It has no top or walls. It has stakes instead along the sides. These are the stakes. The stakes keep the cargo in the flat car from falling off. Flat cars can haul large pieces of machinery. They also haul huge logs and boards from the sawmills. Sometimes big tractors are carried on a flat car. Number five, super flat car. The super flat car has 32 wheels. The center of the super flat car is depressed. Huge heavy machinery or electric transformers are carried on the depressed center. This is the depressed center. You see how it dips down like this and then up again? The center is depressed so that the car can go under bridges with its cargo. Oh, number six, cattle car. This livestock car carries cattle. It has one deck. It has slits on each side to let in fresh air for the animals. Some livestock cars carry sheep and pigs. They have two decks. Cars that carry chickens and turkeys have many decks. Animals cannot travel more than a day and a half in a freight car. This is the law. The cattle car stops at resting places. The animals have food and water in the resting pens. They have time to exercise too. Number seven, piggyback car. The piggyback car carries trailer boxes. Some piggyback cars carry one trailer box. 
others carry two. Some trains are made up of only piggyback cars. These trains travel mostly at night. The trailer box is secured to the deck of the piggyback car. Jacks are placed under the box. I think these are the jacks here and here. The jacks hold the body of the trailer box up in case the box gets a flat tire. I think we're on number eight, the gondola. The gondola is a metal box on wheels. It has no top. It carries things that snow and rain cannot hurt. It is loaded and unloaded by men. Sometimes the men use machines to load the car. Gondolas haul pieces of machinery. They haul pipes, cement blocks, steel plates, and other things. Ooh, number nine, the auto car. The auto car carries new cars from the factory. It carries them to all parts of the country. Each auto car carries nine standard size cars. The auto car can carry 15 compact cars. Automobiles ride safely in the auto car. Number 10, the refrigerator car. A refrigerator car carries fruits and vegetables. It carries meat and fish. It carries butter and eggs. It even carries fresh flowers. Men fit canvas funnels over the doors. Machines blow cold air into the car. Then the car is loaded. The doors are closed. Ice is put in at each end of the refrigerator car. More ice is put in at stations along the way. Oh, there's the ice. He's putting ice in. This is kind of old fashioned. We don't, I don't think we use ice anymore. I think now we have like, you know, refrigeration systems, but back then this is what they used. Uh, I think we're at number 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. This is the mechanical refrigerator car. The mechanical refrigerator car carries its own refrigerator. The refrigerator is run by diesel fuel. The temperature in the car can be kept at 70 degrees or as low as 10 below zero. A mechanical refrigerator car carries fresh fruits and vegetables. It can also carry frozen foods. Number 12, the tank car. Tank cars are really big cans with different kinds of linings. Milk tank cars have a glass, glass or steel linings. Cars that carry chemicals are lined with rubber, lead, or aluminum. Tank cars have one or more domes on top. I think this is the dome. In warm weather, the liquid expands and goes up in the dome. If the liquid could not expand, the car might break at the seams. There are more than 200 different kinds of tank cars. Number 13 is a double door box car. The double door on the box car makes it easy to load and unload large cargo. The box car carries dry goods that are packed in boxes. It carries barrels and bales. It carries bundles and bags. It even carries small boats. The box car is made of metal in the out on the in the outside and lined with wood on the inside. And here we are, it's supposed to be at number 15. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well, somewhere there I got off count, but we have 15 train cars. This is the last one, the caboose. The caboose is the last car of the train. It is an office, a bedroom, and a kitchen. The rear brakeman sits in the place on top and watches the whole train. There he is. 
On long trips, the train crew cooks dinner in the caboose. The caboose has a telephone. The crew can talk to the engineer and the fireman up front. We did 15 cars on our train today. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll come back and do another section on another day. Hey friends, thanks for joining me on that train adventure. If you're at home tomorrow and you're playing trains, I hope this gives you some good ideas for what you can do with your tracks. It's time for us to say goodbye. So today we're gonna do two carpools. Uh, GG, 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 whoopsie. And Ollie, 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 whoopsie. And Leo, 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 whoopsie. And Paxton, 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 whoopsie. Goodbye, it's been a nice day. Goodbye. Bye, it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next visit when we all come back to our nursery time.